Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Libra, this is your reading for the month of July, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Libra, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Now coming back to this reading on YouTube, I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll see what is your energy, what you need to know for the month of uh, July and what you need to know regarding the person who is interested in you or who will be interested in you. Now before proceeding Libra, I would like to make an announcement and see Libra, I keep on getting multiple requests every single day for personal readings. Okay, every single day I keep on getting multiple mails. I have also seen a lot of wishful comments in the comments section, wish star uh, starts with personal readings, private readings. So your wish is my command. Okay, so I have decided to start personal readings, though initially I'll take limited ones. <clears throat> okay, so the details of the same have been provided in the description box and the comment section. You can go through the same and if you want to avail the benefits of personal reading, you can book a one with me. All right. Now let's get back to the YouTube reading. I'm shuffling the cards. I lay them down and then we will start with the reading. So Libra, what you need to know for the month of July, Nine of Swords, King of Wands. Then we have Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands. Wow. We have king and queen of wands. As far as your love life is concerned, we have temperance, six of cups, and ace of pentacles. Libra, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. You might be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You might be dealing with uh, Leo, Cancer, Virgo, if the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. You might be seeing 1111. You might be seeing 999-777. Okay. So Libra, what do you need to know for the month of July? Nine of Swords, King of Wands. Then we have Seven of Swords and then we have Queen of Wands. Hmm. I kind of feel that your trust on other people is depleting day by day, day by day, day by day. Okay. There are certain incidences that have already happened in the recent past or maybe since last couple of months where you're noticing that people are doing everything to break your trust. People are doing everything to rob your peace, to rob your sanity. People are doing everything to give you some sleepless nights and the trust that you are looking out for in the other person is almost near to zero or in some cases even negative. So probably there was a situation in the past where you were seeking opinions from others for things in your life. But now what I see is that you have stopped doing that because you have kind of realized that you're attracting unnecessary negativity towards you because of sharing in some cases over sharing with other people okay sharing about what about your own life 
sharing the your problems that you're going through and seeking opinion from that so what i kind of feel that there is a change that is going to happen okay you will stop relying less and less on other people seeking opinion you'll stop uh, seeking opinions from other people because of the betrayals that you have experienced you'll start relying more and more on yourself i'm not saying that you were codependent no that's an extreme word not that every single time you used to pick up a phone and consult someone no not at all but yes yeah, sometimes you used to discuss things about your life with uh, people around you and in, in certain cases you have also discussed that with your siblings with your parents maybe uh, maybe uh, your friends your work colleagues but you have kind of realized that people are somehow unfortunately even you are near and dear ones are somehow unhappy with the way you're living your life are somehow unhappy with how far you have come in your life are somehow unhappy with you doing good and you probably have also got some wrong consultations from people around you when you explained your problems to them or ongoing issues to them and people thought that it was an opportunity for them to ruin your life so they kind of gave you wrong suggestions which would end up harming your existing situation which was already very delicate or which was already in a trouble it would it would that situation if you would have solicited opinion from them and if you have applied their uh, suggestions your existing problem would have increased more so you have started realizing that people around you are not trustworthy you will feel bad on one hand but you will also feel good about the fact on other hand that at least you have realized the fact that people around you are not good and maybe there are certain changes that you need to do and if you don't do those changes like distancing yourself from those people or probably making new friends new meeting new trustworthy people if you don't bring those changes more harm is on the way you are also realizing in the month of july libra that you have become very powerful you are very intelligent you have become very powerful you have kind of lived your life on your own terms and you have become you have reached greater heights in your life based on your own talent your hard work so you are also having realization how powerful you are and you don't have to rely on such kind of people you don't have to surround yourself by such kind of people you'll also certain incidences might happen which will help you realize that you are a very very protected soul a very protected soul and if you want to protect yourself more adopt a black color cat okay black cats are very good at literally threatening the negative energy and they shoo away that energy from your space they are very good at they are very good for that i kind of feel that one of your exes was your soulmate and 
one of your so called well wisher actually created distance between you and one of your ex both of you went in different directions because because of misunderstandings and because of things became extreme and it the problems were created between you and your ex by someone else and this someone else they you used to think that they are your well wisher but they were never your well wisher but this person was very uh manipulative and toxic and they used to portray themselves as as a well wisher they used to put a facade for some of you there is a possibility that universe is bringing you and this ex who was your soulmate is bringing both of you together for some of you not for all of you for others of you what i see libra over here is you and your your divine counterpart is coming together you and your divine counterpart are not far away from one another but then i will advise libra over here that keep quiet about it at least till the time you know that the foundations of this relationship are very very strong no your energies are slightly vulnerable libra and especially you attract negative energy real fast because people tend to become jealous about you real fast or the chemistry that you have with other people people they are crazy to have such kind of chemistries with other people they are not able to have such kind of chemistry with other people and they want such kind of chemistry with other people but they cannot have that and that's why when they see that you have some insane level of chemistries with with your people with your lovers with your friends these third parties who are jealous of you they go crazy and then they become active then they do things to create distance between you and your your romantic partner so that's why a suggestion that it's up to you of course it's a world of free will okay it's not i'm i'm thrusting my opinions onto you but at least the cards are suggesting like that that keep it in hush hush affair at least till the time you are sure about this connection at least till the time you you both of you are putting efforts towards this connection you're sure about one another okay you're sure that this connection will work you're putting efforts and make sure that the foundation is strong then go make rooftop announcements who is stopping you but take care of what you need to take care first take care of first As far as your love life is concerned we have temperance we have 6 of cups and ace of pentacles divine counterpart soulmate energy this new person is another soulmate of yours one of your ex was also a soulmate and not a karmic soulmate let me tell you that and that's why divine probably is trying to bring both of you together if you experience something really toxic with someone then they are not your soulmate but if the relationship was broken down or if a connection was broken down because of some misunderstandings or because of some fights or something like that that person probably will reappear in your life for others of you a new person is entering in your life it's a, again this is person is a new soulmate and let me tell you that divine is orchestrating a lot of things when it comes to your love life divine is like everyone else move away I'm going to take care of Libra's love life. Okay, it's my responsibility. We have Temperance, we have 6 of Cups, we have Ace of Pentacles. All three cards are indicating that there is so much of divine interference and when divine is willing to interfere, then trust me things are moving in the right direction. This is simply a confirmation. balance will be restored in your love life libra without any doubt okay and balance will be restored because you are meeting a person from your soul tribe you are meeting your soulmate whoever is coming towards you they are very very calm patient they are very loving caring nurturing 
they will make sure that they don't end up hurting you for some of you this person will also gift you certain things you will feel lot of attraction see at the end of the day i feel it's a divine connection okay divine counterpart divine counterparts usually don't take time in recognizing one another the souls usually recognize one another real fast there will be an instant recognition in your case as well let's pull out some more information about the new love let's pull out some more information about the new love knight of wands extreme passion extreme passion once both of you decide to get into a connection you guys will have some bed breaking sex someone from the past will be unhappy that you have decided to move on justice whatever void was created in your life it will get uh, fulfilled this person will turn out to be very lucky for you libra okay uh don't bring your indecisive uh sometimes you feel indecisive about certain situations don't allow your indecisive uh, thing to impact this connection Okay, this ten of cups wants to come out. You'll have kids with this person. Again, balance is getting restored. For some of you, you will join hands uh, for work reasons. I see romance happening first between you and this person. Okay, and then I see uh, you guys will come together for for work. You guys will come together for business. All right I hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe comment down below till then take care and bye bye and yes by the way the link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right uh, the details about the private reading personal reading are provided in the description box and comment section take care and bye bye